Hello and welcome back. If you're watching this, that means I've split my post bag video up into two parts. Yay, post bag! Because it's getting too long and too boring. Uh, you don't want a massive long video unless you're watching Brian Locke do some kind of Arduino project. How's it going? And you'll sit there for hours and watch him. Uh, so I've split it up into two parts. So as per I said before, Take a look at the items. I'll tell you what I'm gonna be using them for and there'll be affiliate links in the description below from where you can get them from AliExpress. So without further ado, let's go take a look. What is this? Very thin. Ah, these are NFC tags. Yeah, it's after some of these. You can see through it. You can kind of see the RFID or the circuit board. Uh, these were to go with an RF reader and your phone reader. Uh, I'm just going to have a play with these. You see what you can do with them. Don't know yet. Parts draw. What have we got here? Um, all right, yes, this is two. These are FTDI chips. Get one out. This is a basically USB to serial programmer FTDI chip. Um, but the pins are all broken out, which go back to, oh my God, so much stuff. Go back to this guy and Brian Locke again sent me on my way to get these. To program this, you need this. Ugh. So that is why I got that, because I didn't have one. Aha, there she's again, Magic M in Russian, English. She's good, I will link to her in the description below. More SMD stuff. These are more capacitors. I'm guessing 080, oh, 0206 and a mixed bag of resistors that look like 0805s. Kind of fun trying to sort all those out. Ooh, some exciting. Arcade buttons. Two push arcade buttons. Uh, with LEDs. That goes up there. Should be an LED somewhere. Yes, the LED goes in there. Something like that. And there's a micro switch. There it is, which goes on the bottom. Basically actuating that. Gets the arcade button going. Uh, Couple of projects for these. Got a few tactile buttons, big chunky products, uh, big chunky projects. Uh, so I needed a few of these. Already got one on the Amazon, on the uh, Google Raspberry Pi kit that you got with uh, Magpie Magazine. So I've got a couple more. They're very handy. Oh, oh my God! These are tiny. What are these? Well, be careful, Steve. Can you read that? These are hull sensors, hull sensors. And uh, these are basically magnetic sensors, essentially an on off switch, which detects magnetism. So you get a magnet near them. Um, they'll, they'll, they'll detect the magnet and send a signal down the line. Uh, who is this from? That was from Electro Noobs, I think. I was watching his POV display, uh, which he hacked together uh, on a Perf board. But it's a really good explanation of how it all worked. I thought I'm going to need some Hall 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 sensors. So I've got them. His up there video. What is this? This is a cable. Go on. What did this call it? Cable. Oh, wow. Bang on. X60 to DC 5.5, 5 2.5 power. Value $3. And that's what it is. It is an XT60 
connector to a standard 5.5, 2.1 power jack. And I'm going to be using this for a battery bank that I'm going to build, like a 12 volt one. I'm very curious about whether this cable could handle it, but it is incredibly flexible, which makes me think it's very thin, which means it might not take a lot of amps. We shall see. Get into the last ones. That, that's it. So. It's huge. That's what she said. What are these? These feel like mushrooms. Yeah. Giant arcade buttons to go with these little buttons. Get big ones. Same idea. Should have an LED. Yeah. LED. Micro switch. Arcade button. There's a green one. Should be a red one. Yay. They're a bit scratched up. Brand new. They look like they've been taken out of an arcade. It's quite scratched. Hence why they were like a pound. Wow. What's this? Nothing else. All sorts here. Cool. Ah, what have we got? Ah, this is a an earth static. Um, band that you wear to discharge yourself if you're working on sensitive equipment. Uh, I saw David Watts get one of these um, and I was going to get one and I thought I'd buy one and this is dirt cheap. I'll have a play with that eventually. Uh, all in here. Okay. This is a Nokia LCD screen. It's basically a LCD screen with a backlight and they're called Nokia. Can't remember the name, 52 somethings. Um, yeah, handy little display. Uh, got a few ideas for these. I've got a radio to make um, and some other stuff. I'm running out of space with these. Ah, oh, these are micro SD. Cards. Connectors. Wow, these are tiny. Fit micro SD cards into. Oh, these actually go with this, one of the projects. I want to make a pixel stick, which is like a light stick using NeoPixels and it creates persistence of vision animation or static images. So you need an SD card to load some images on. That was just going to be a menu thing. Ah, now to go with all my SMD stuff, this is a manual pick and place sucker. Supposedly. So you're picking up your small things. Yeah, wow. That is cheap. Oh, and I've broken it. The idea is you pick your thing up and you place it and it uses suction. Dirt cheap, it's like a pound, my god, and you can see why it looks like crap. Ah, these are cool. These are SMD, again, I'm getting obsessed with SMD stuff. Circuit board reference rulers. One ruler to rule them all, or something it said. But this gives you all the cool stuff, so it tells you your trace widths, um, various pads, your sizes, different packages. Um, chip packages, some signal, some symbols. Look at all these pads. I imagine hand soldering all these. Yeah, there you are, there you go. One PCB to ruler them all. These were cool. Uh, I'm going to give one of these away. Uh, more of that to follow. Not on this video.
Ah, aha. Yes, this is a uh, a programming vice, if you want to call it, a clip to connect to AT Tiny 85s um, or SOP chips, which are eight pins. I don't know if you can see that clearly. Yes, if I take this DigiSpark clone, instead of connecting to all the pins, you basically connect straight to the chip like that. Oh, magic. So that is connected to each leg. And then the back end is your programming header, which you can then plug into that, which then goes into the breadboard or wherever it's going. Very handy that. I've got various ways of trying to connect to these AT Tiny 85 SMD versions, but this seemed like a really cool way of just, just getting it done. What are these? These are 7333A power regulators. These are 3.3 volt power leg regulators um, for ESP8266 chips. These are low dropout ones. Uh, a few embedded products where I wanted a low dropout regulator. And these seem to be the job. Yeah, that's cool. It's getting there. Aha, these are five mini uh, LED matrix boards. Uh, these are red, uh, common, what's that? B, B stands for C, no, A stands for cathode, B stands for anode. Some, no, I will say it there. Mini ones, this is for an Oshpark project. This is actually for micro clock. Uh, but there's five of them, little mini circuit. Look at them, these are tiny. How tiny are them? Yeah, cool. I can't believe I'm getting through all this. Ah, okay. Ah, OLED screen. Can't have too many OLED screens. This is a white one. Ah, I was waiting for this. This is a temperature module. Uh, it's the crapper of the two DHDs, was it 22 or 11 something? Um, uh, but you connect an ESP8266 ESP01 board on top, power it up, and you've got yourself a little temperature data logger. You just need to hook up a battery or power source. But there you go. In fact, have oh, I got on? Yes, I do. Stage board. There's the ESP01. And the little package. Cooling. And uh, what's that? That's a reset button. Very handy. The idea with that is I'm going to uh, just try out some. Oh, there it is. It's the 11 one, DHT11, which is the not better one of the two Dallas temperature thingy-majiggies. So yeah, I want to just log room temperatures and learn how to use MQTT. Ah, this? Oh, this is a card reader. This handy little card reader. I needed one from my laptop bag. Uh, it's very small. But it does everything, compact flash, SD, micro SD, and all the other ones that nobody ever buys anymore. Ow. What are these? Oh, these are two, that's two of those. Uh, these are amplifiers. This is a standard one. Um, forget the name of that one. It's an LM366 amplifier, real basic mono amp, a bit naff to be fair, but does the job. And this is, this is 2.5 watt class D amplifier. Uh, again, mono, I believe. And it's a PAM 8302A. It's got a variable. I think that's a volume or is that the gain? I forget. Could well be the game. 
which is essentially the volume. Uh, these are for little embedded projects, uh, which I think will go with the arcade buttons. I want to make a, well, it's a secret, but I want to make it. Will you ever see it? Who knows? Last item. Wow. This is it. You ready? This is a great big green thing. What is it? Ah, this is for 18650s. This is a plastic wrap, 18650s, uh, which is to go with the power cable to make a power bank, uh, a 12 volt uh, power battery using 18650s and an appropriate balance charger. And this is just to make it look cool because you strip off the cruddy um, plastic wrap that they've got uh, and you rewrap them to make them all look cool. And that is everything. If you've got all the way through this, this is probably the second part, if I've done it in two parts. But thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, because I need all the subscriptions I can get. Uh, hit all the uh, affiliate links down below to get these items on AliExpress. If you've never used AliExpress before, do it. Get some of these cheap ones and just see what it's like. You will enjoy it. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.